Umbrella Academy has predominantly become one of the classic superhero TV shows in the mainstream media, even outpacing The Arrow on Netflix. I am sure while watching season two, we have become genuinely interested in finding out more about the actors' personal lives. Who had a strict preference about his on-screen sexuality? Who's the heartbreaker whose wife was the choreographer of the amazing dance like no one's watching? Moreover, which cast member has been noted as the most loyal fan of the Umbrella Academy comics and without any on-screen interests? Hi, my name is Emma. Let's find out more about your daring characters in this brief synopsis of their personal life. Tom Hopper as Luther Hargraves While watching Umbrella Academy for the first time, I am sure you had a feeling you recognized Luther's face. A stern fan of Game of Thrones would hardly ever forget the scene in which Proud Dick and Tarly and his father are being buried by the Daenerys' dragon. Impressed by his convincing acting in this sensational TV show, producers of Umbrella Academy were convinced in casting Tom Harper as Luther Hargraves. As the splendidly strong, achingly lonely, we will reminisce about the huge and clumsy days of Luther Hargraves forever. His appearance in the show is another thing on everyone's mind. Reportedly, the actor has always been fond of sports, but before starring in the Umbrella Academy, he had to gain a lot of muscular weight. The actor noted in an interview that he went through the process of trying to get huge and then the administration decided at the last minute, let's try something else. To get the look right, they had to put on a muscle suit on the actor's body. Getting into the juicy details, this alluring actor has won the heart of a charming actress, namely Laura Hopper. Just a few months after meeting, the couple decided to tie the knot. They even have two kids, a son named Freddie Douglas Hopper, and their daughter, Truly Rose Hopper. To see the absolute couple goals of this lovely family, just look at Tom's Instagram. If these adorable family pictures have no power on your heart, did you know that Tom's muscular arms have their own Insta account? Maybe you might enjoy that more. It has just 2,000 followers for now, but we are certain this account deserves much more. We have a two-year-old. And a five-year-old. We've not just no. discovered a two-year-old. <laughs> David Castaneda as Diego Hargraves. For the role of Kraken, aka Diego Hargraves, the production needed a reckless and rebellious persona. Described by the monocle as an insolent brat, this character had the ability to hold his breath indefinitely and has demonstrated a powerful skill of knife throwing. The actor, David Castaneda, had been trying to find his next gig when he landed on the role of Kraken. More importantly, are we the only ones who think David Castaneda looks a lot like Jensen Ackles? formerly known as Dean from Supernatural? According to the actor himself, Umbrella Academy became his breakthrough in this industry, the one he had been looking for. This Mexican actor has a few career highlights up his sleeve. Most prominently, he had starred in a few episodes of Jane the Virgin. David admitted that this job came with its own set of hardships. It required weeks of training to master the show's fight choreography, as well as his character's powers and knife abilities. He had only been notified six weeks prior to shooting about his training with Tommy Chang, the show's fight coordinator. Throughout the filming of the show, almost for seven months, the actor had to go to a dojo and fight with Olympians. The training had been quite effective. He did his own stunts. He had mastered Diego's knife-throwing skills, and real knives were used on set by the end of season one. As far as for the actor's personal life, we are sorry to say that it has been well guarded. No news outlet could find any hint about either his current relationship or his past ones. Hard to believe, right? But it's harder to see such a hot guy all alone. We will surely find out some news from paparazzi who won't miss the opportunity to know more about his beau. Emmy Raver Lapman as The Rumor. The rumor is that Emmy Lapman is in a five year long relationship. Alison Hargreaves, codenamed The Rumor, has the influence on reality as she can manipulate it through lying. If she says anything that is currently not accurate, then reality will adjust it to her preference. Emmy Raver Lampman has spent almost a decade in theater on Broadway with prominent national touring companies. She had decided one day to try out for an on-screen role. According to the actress herself, she sent in an audition tape to multiple productions. For five and a half months, she hadn't heard a thing from producers. However, out of the blue, she had been selected as one of the main leads in the upcoming second season. In this on-screen role, Emmy considered herself a complete fish out of water. But during the filming, the actress had developed a budding relationship with Tom Hopper. They reportedly talked almost every other day, if not every day. 
Emmy is also on great terms with Ellen Page, as they have been photographed in Toronto going out to brunches and karaoke and seeing movies and sporting events. Things seem to be going great for this newcomer in the industry. As for her love life, the actress seems to have a tightly bonded relationship with a fellow Broadway star, David Diggs, who originated the roles of Thomas Jefferson and Marquise de Lafayette. The magazine Just Jared shared the spicy details of their relationship following the couple's attendance at the Los Angeles premiere for Raver Lampman's movie, A Typical Wednesday. Both of the actors wore matching masks to the event, twinning for life. The Seance. Formerly known as Klaus Hargraves, this provocative and troubled character had to be created for an equally irritating actor. There had been no doubts in the casting when Robert Sheehan joined the Umbrella Academy cast as the Seance. This ideal fit was unfortunately not going to happen, as when Sheehan read the script for episode 1, he wasn't really impressed. After I had a game-changing chat with Stephen Blackman about what happens to Klaus and his transformative journey, the actor agreed to play the part for this adaptation. The actor, however, later shared his worry about his character's sexual orientation. He believed that if your character has a homosexual orientation, then that label sticks and reduces all other aspects about the character. In the real world, the actor has openly spoken about experimenting with his sexuality when he was younger, but ultimately identifies himself as heterosexual. Years ago, before this franchise had even been put into production, the actor had started dating the actress Sofia Botella, who was six years older than him. Last year, the couple had split, but luckily they have still been good friends. The actor has admitted that he is ready to initiate a new relationship, where he would not let his stellar career get in the way of one day settling down and starting a family. Aidan Gallagher as number five. The boy with no name. The role of this 13-year-old on-screen character has been played by the 15-year-old American actor Aidan Gallagher. Despite being so young, Aidan has been seen starring in one episode of Modern Family and landed a leading role on Nickelodeon's Nicky, Ricky, Dicky, and Don. Unlike his co-stars on the set of Umbrella Academy, who haven't even heard about these comics, Gallagher has been a number one fan. He had solely auditioned to play the role of number five as he was a huge fan of Umbrella Academy graphic novels. In an interview to UPI, he said, I get to play a 58-year-old time-traveling assassin who comes back from the future to save the world from the apocalypse. This had been his dream role, as it would have been for any teen. Only a month after his comedy series ended, he scored his role in this incredible casting. Nick was known to be handy when it came to bringing the character of Five to life. Moreover, can you believe that this teenager is not only known for his spectacular acting skills, but also his musical career? Gallagher is a prodigious piano and guitar player. For him, music expresses how he's feeling and what is on his mind. Furthermore, the actor considers himself very lucky, as most young actors don't have any free time for personal life. At 15 years of age, Aiden is deemed to be more interesting than many 30-year-olds in his industry. Following his love life, we see that in 2017, Gallagher had been dating the redhead beauty Hannah McLeod for about a year. She is formerly known as Young Louise in an ABC drama series, Revenge. In the following years, Aiden had a fling with a girl called Trinity Rose, who was a self-described singer and songwriter. However, the couple turned out to just really be great friends. Shockingly, there have been rumors of Aiden dating the actress Sadie Sink, who portrays Max in Stranger Things. However, this news has never been fully confirmed. We can see this child star achieving great heights in the coming seasons. She seeks his unknown, and she's very hard to find. Justin H. Min as the horror. Although we only see Ben in season one of Umbrella Academy as the ghost, rumors speculate that season two will develop more on his supernatural powers. With actual extraterrestrial monsters creeping underneath his skin, he considers his role as one of the greatest of his career. So far, he's only got a few episodes of CDI under his belt. In a recent Instagram post, Justin revealed that landing the show was the biggest secret he had ever had to keep. It was so under wraps that his friends and family thought he had been taking a semester abroad in Toronto. Alongside his acting career, Min is also a photographer and has carried out a number of projects. Unfortunately, the same goes for his love interests. He had hidden his bow from the world and has no plans of leaking his or her name. In a post on October 15, 2019, he sarcastically addressed his disappearance from the online platform called Twitter. Sorry, I've been busy dating and being in a relationship and all of that. Also, I dropped my phone last week and broke it. One of those statements is true. Let's just live in the ambiguity tonight. Let's just live.
The only thing we are quite sure of is that he is very close to his family, since his Instagram is littered with pictures of his mother, siblings, and nephew. Ellen Page as White Violin Acting since the age of 10, Ellen has accumulated an impressive number of roles and awards, including Golden Globe and BAFTA over the years. While playing her role in the movie Juno, there was a rumor that she was dating Alexander Skarsgård, who she had met on the set of The East. After plenty of speculation on this topic, in 2012, Paige made a shocking announcement to the community at a human rights campaign event for counselors of young LGBT people in Las Vegas. She admitted she lived something of a double life before this announcement, saying that, I felt let's just please be done with this chapter of discomfort and sadness and anxiety and hurting my relationships and all those things that come with it. I suffered for years because I was scared to be out. My spirit suffered. My mental health suffered. She's a great inspiration for young adults in the entertainment industry for her eloquence and thoughtfulness. She is now often publicly seen with her girlfriend. Some of her famous partners have included Clay Duvall, Shailene Woodley, and Samantha Thomas. On an unexpected turn of events, the actress revealed she had gotten married in a tearsome Instagram post. Can't believe I get to call this extraordinary woman my wife. This post included a photo of two somewhat undistinguishable looking hands decked out with their respective wedding bands. Her partner, Emma Portner, is a dancer and choreographer who had surprisingly worked on Umbrella Academy to experiment with Tom Hopper's dance routine. So which couple do you think is absolute goals in this list? And which two cast members would you like to see together on screen? Let us know in the comments. If you like this video, then don't forget to hit the thumbs up, join the Tea Club by subscribing, and hit the bell icon to get notified first. See you soon in the next video. Till then, take care and stay safe.